right, welcome back. Uh, next step on the pumpkin repair is we are going to try to fix this. We're gonna make that look like this. I'm not. Hopefully. Yeah, I'm not worried about getting a gap back in here. I we just need to stick something in here to support it because this is all going to get wet again and it'll collapse because there's nothing inside. So to do that, I think we're going to put a playground ball in there and inflate it. And if that don't work, we'll add another ball. <laughs> yep, I came prepared. I think this one, or we got our Chuck E. Cheese ball here that we don't use anymore. I think this is going to be the right size. But I feel like these are going to be, I think we're going to have to put both of these in there. As I think they're going to be, this is probably going to be too weak, I feel like. We can try that one first, but this is the biggest out of them all. But it's like soft, like it's like rubber, like the rubber's thinner than that. I don't care if any of these get popped either. Turn it this way. Why don't you put it this way? Because then we can pump it this way. Guess I'm not using that one. Let's see what I'm not supposed to blow this up. Oh, I'll blow it up. I, they were, I deflated them at home with it so they would fit. Why don't you think it'll blow it up? It's just going to take three hours. Do you want me to do it? You got to watch out though because it does leak a little bit of air out the back of it. You want to try this one? Because this will fill the hole inside. It's just, I don't know if it's going to be too heavy for it. All right, once we figure out what size ball, we'll be back. I don't know how. All right, so we got our ball in there. Inflated up. Kind of looks cool. So now we are, I'm going to work on re paper clay in this face. So, I think it's in that bucket. So I got my paper clay from the last time. We just re-spiced it up a little bit. It seems pretty good. It makes a decent so I just makes a I decent saying. ball.
I don't know, this is my favorite part, sculpting the face. It's like I, I don't have any ideas until I start laying the clay on there and it all comes to life. Why did we even start making pumpkins? What made us start? What made you start? Oh. I seen a guy on YouTube. He doesn't have a channel anymore. Why did he get deleted? No, he just doesn't post anymore. I don't know. Oh. I seen him do it and I was like, oh, I'll give that a shot. And then, uh, there's another YouTube channel out there that I watch. Uh, and I started getting the idea of different ways of sculpting the clay. And I just keep trying to streamline it to make it easier. Alright, I gotta go do some work, unload a tractor and trailer, uh, we'll resume this when I'm done. Alright, I'm back, uh, I got a little busy at work, so it's actually been about an hour. <laughs> so, let's get back to this, old Mr. Crooked Mouth. What I got going on here, let's see if I can show you. Okay. See how his bottom jaw is starting to buckle? So I'm gonna suspend him from the air. And try and fix that bottom jaw. And let's see how this is gonna work. Try and build this jaw up coming down and maybe this paper mache will get wet enough I can move it around.
Now it's looking better. I'll do a little bit something on this side. Just take small little work in little areas. All right, I'm gonna end that, this video here. I'm just gonna keep working at it, sculpting it out as it sets up and dries. Uh, depending on how this dries over the next couple days, the next video, we're gonna end up skinning it and getting it ready for paint. So until next time, hang in there.